all right everyone so welcome to this video today's gonna be like a morning routine and I'm just gonna do a voiceover over these clips just for something different so today's morning started around 6 30 Elliot usually wakes up around 5 to 6 30 somewhere in the air he's so cute and then we get started with the day here I'm using the baby Brezza it's the water warmer and um, this is awesome I highly recommend it I'll link it down below and it keeps water up to your body temperature, so the same as breast milk. And this is the formula that I'm using right now, Bobby Organic Infant Formula. It is good, it's pretty pricey, and the only reason I bought it was because they had an offer where the first two cans were half off, but it's still twice the amount of the formula I'm using now so normally it's four times the amount and if you compare the ingredient list it's almost identical to the one I get at say Costco but this one is organic so I don't know if it's worth four times the amount I need to look into it and see if I can find another one that's also organic that maybe isn't as pricey um, but yeah so I am using formula I do still breastfeed at night and sometimes in the early mornings, but for the most part, I have switched over to formula. So here I got Elliot set up with some books and toys and put him on this little blanket to do some tipping time and play while I get some laundry done. So this is pretty typical, it's usually just us for the first hour or so in the morning. Steven and Joseph sleep in a little bit more. Um, sometimes it can be earlier though, even as early as 4.30 with Elliot. Um, but yeah, sometimes I'm productive, sometimes I like to have some quiet time, and sometimes I just lay on the floor with him with a blanket because I'm so tired and that's all I can do. So here I'm just putting his clothes away in this little cart. I got this on Amazon, it's really, really helpful, I love it. So I have him here in the bumbo with some reading material while I get breakfast started. And I know the bumbo is not good for hip development or whatever, but Steven came home with that one day and was like, hey, let's try this. And I was like, great. I wasn't about to give him a dissertation on hip development, nor did I really have the information to make a case one way or the other. So whatever. Anyways. Here he is eating some of the apples. We're doing baby led weaning again, which is awesome. It's also forgot how traumatic it can be when they gag and bring stuff up. I know it's natural, it's their reflex and stuff, but it feels like they're choking every time and it's, I don't miss that. I forgot how bad it can be, but we're learning, we're getting better at it. And I'm learning again what I can give him, what I can't. Just have to watch him like a hawk, so. Here I'm making just basic quick oats with like apples and cinnamon. So I missed it, but Elliot was watching the trash truck just like his brother. He loves trash trucks. And here is how the oatmeal turned out. Cinnamon, apple, oatmeal. Then Joseph woke up. He actually gets out of his crib on his own a lot. And he went to go see Steven who was sleeping on the couch this night because he gets a lot better sleep there when he's not interrupted. He wanted to go sleep with him, but then he realized he was hungry, so he quickly ran to the kitchen to see what I had made. This oatmeal. Yeah, that's oatmeal. Yummy? Mm -hmm. You want to try it? Yeah. And that's a new book. It came in the mail. That's from Tutu and Papa. So Joseph is very independent these days, always wanting to do things on his own. So he brings this stool over and gets into his high chair all on his own. Then he wanted me to read him this book. I always put it on his high chair when the new one comes in. And I give him these Smarty Pants gummies that we got from Costco. So this is what breakfast ends up looking like. Oatmeal all over the floor, all over the clothes. Ah! <laughs> Elliot wants to talk. And uh, this is a new gadget I wanted to show. It's the egg hard-boiled egg maker. I got it at Target, or Steven got it for me actually. So you just like pierce the bottom of the eggs and you set them in bottom side up, add a little bit of water up to the line and just turn it on. And it makes perfect hard-boiled eggs 
every time. I've used it like a whole bunch of times now. So now I'm just making some peanut butter toast for everybody. So, okay, so one big scoop, big scoop like that. Put it in there. Okay, yeah, that's right. It's okay. Careful, careful. Great job. Okay. Perfect. So after about seven to ten minutes, the eggs are all done. It makes seven at a time, and you just let it cool a little bit and peel them, and they are perfect. I mean, look at this egg. I've never had a more perfect egg. So here's Steven's lunch, pretty basic today, just a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, some carrots, two of those hard-boiled eggs, pretzels, and string cheese. So then I got Elliot dressed, he's just wearing this shirt and a little onesie underneath. And I got Joseph dressed in this new fire truck shirt, which is his favorite shirt from his tutu. Thank you tutu, he loves it, and some jeans. So I wasn't going to include this, but technically it was still morning. Uh, we went to Walmart for an emergency trip to get Play-Doh. I promised Joseph we would get some new Play-Doh the night before, and he did not forget and kept reminding me, so we went ahead and got that Play-Doh. You know, I saw something the other day that said, children spell love, T-I-M-E. And I honestly couldn't agree more. I think one of the biggest misconceptions about kids is that, you know, they cost so much money. You know, when really, what I think they really require is your time. You know, they don't need someone to buy them the fancy age-appropriate toys. They need someone who's willing to sit with them and play. They don't need the fanciest strollers in the world. They just need someone who's willing to take them on a walk. You know, they don't need the $500 crib, uh, necessarily. They need someone who's going to comfort them when they're crying, soothe them back to bed when they're having a hard time. And they need that person to be willing to do it again and again and again. You know, the fancy vacations, the expensive <laughs> learning academy, the child care center with the six month wait list. They're all nice, um, but they're not necessary. What they really need is you. And I realize this is controversial in today's day and age where we've come to think that money can buy everything and that money solves everyone's problems. But there is one thing that money can't buy and that is your time. It's hard to really quantify what it means to be a present, intentional, patient parent, to say to your kids, you know, I have nothing on the schedule but you, because you are that important to me. I actually don't think that people lack money. I think they lack the ability to slow down, to live below their means, to lower their standard of living, and perhaps their spending habits to take time to be with their kids. You know, we tell people, don't have kids until you have all this money saved because, you know, they're so expensive, but I would change that to say, don't have kids until you are ready to spend time with them to devote your time and energy to them um, because money is a cheap substitute for time. And before you say, you know, easy for you to say, blah, 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 I get it. I live in Southern California. It's not cheap here. My husband makes an average salary, so I'm not coming at a position of extreme wealth, um, but it's just something that we've prioritized. And I might make a whole other video on this because I do like helping people in this area. And I do think I have some good um, tricks and tips in this area because it does take a lot of planning and discipline and foresight. But I do think that it's worth it if that's something that's important to you. This one, I'll go fresh ones. This is Jamie's one. That's Jamie's one? Okay. Okay. What's daddy's? Bye bye, enjoy. Bye. Go.
it is actually now one o'clock and I finally got them both down for a nap. My six month old went from taking like three to four naps a day to one a day. So just like his brother in a matter of like two days. So it's kind of been like a shock to the system trying to adjust, but whatever, they're both down. I'm gonna take advantage of this time finally and go take a shower. I'm in dire need of a shower, change my clothes, get ready for the day. So even though this isn't morning anymore, I'm gonna include this in my morning routine because I'm like getting ready for the day. All right, so that did not last long. <laughs> Elliot woke up like while I was still in the shower. So he only slept like 30 minutes. So we're up until I can get him back down again. And yeah, but I did get a shower and I put some clothes on. So that was a win. So now that's already noon, but thank you for watching my morning routine. Not much of a routine, but morning vlog. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>